Hi. How are we doing? My hair is currently looking like this and it's drenched in olive oil because today I'm gonna bleach my hair and it's gonna be a fun time. I've tried my best to collect as much information and actually try and do a good job as I can. I know, for example, Brad Mondo is gonna tell me that having oil in my hair doesn't help when it comes to like bleach because the bleach will just eat through it. I know, I know that, I know that. But hear me out. Basically my hair is naturally really dry and I thought it would be a good idea to like give my hair a final oomph of oil that it can soak up maybe. <laughs> so that when I bleach it, it's just like a little pre nourish And if it doesn't do anything, that's fine. I'm happily accepting the fact that I've put in effort for no reason. But even if it just makes me happy, that's enough of a reason for me to do it. Okay? I'm clearly, clearly not a hair professional. If it comes out shit, then it's okay. Like, it's just hair. If you couldn't tell by the title, the thumbnail, and the way that I've parted my hair, I'm gonna do that thing that everyone's been doing like six months ago. I'm always late to trends like this. I'm gonna bleach my underneath hair like Narcissa Malfoy so that I can be a real slippery. Okay, for the people that give a fuck, I'm gonna try and explain in case it comes out good. Just so I all know like why I did the things that I did. I have a weird head of hair in terms of my hair has very different textures throughout my head. Not evenly dense or like coarse or all these different attributes to hair that are important to bleaching. The fact my hair is really full, it's really thick, it's really coarse and that's probably the parts of my hair that are the most dry. The underneath of my hair, these two strands, they're the least curly and the most like healthy i guess naturally like they're not very dry the bleach will take longer for it to properly lighten hair that's more thick and coarse and i have patches here here especially and there where it looks like i'm fucking balding my hair is super thin and also not as densely so like growing in these spots because of that the bleach is gonna process faster here than it is in the back so i'm gonna be starting in the back i'm hoping that my hair will get to a wide enough level where it will look blonde-ish but if it doesn't, I'm fine with toning it to like a light brown. I put all these mirrors so that I can see the back of my hair. And I have all my supplies here. Bleach, 30 volume developer because 40 volume is not recommended to be used for whatever reason. It's too strong. But like, why does it even exist? But I'm trusting the hairdressers and using 30 volume. Gloves, because don't bleach your hair without gloves. A mixing bowl and a brush. I'm so excited, I haven't done this in so long. Yay. I'm gonna look like an idiot for most of this video, but it's okay. Didn't I say like a video or two ago that my e-girl face is over? No, I'm out here bleaching my hair like all the TikTok girls. Also, parting this, I was on the phone for an hour and just like perfecting the parting of this. And if it doesn't look fucking perfect, I'm... I just want to see the footage right now of like me doing the 180 and I just... I better be satisfied with the way that I parted my hair. I hope it's symmetrical. I really tried. <laughs> now that I'm hot, shall we start? I need, I think it's one part bleach, two parts developer. Is it? No, it is. It is. Is it? It is. It is. One part bleach, two parts developer. I just put on my glasses and got some foil and I can't see what's going on back there very well without my glasses so i need them but i know that bleach reacts with metal so i'm gonna obviously take it off once i'm at this section i'm gonna mix the bleach now i have a little cup so that i can do the ratio correctly one cup of bleach powder this is not gonna fit i think this will have to do now i guess i'll just mix this it's like a lot of bleach. Maybe that's even too much. But also, Brad Mondo said that you're supposed to really coat your hair. So I'm gonna be able to do that for sure with the amount of bleach that I've just made. I look like, like when I do this, I look like these men that don't have hair here anymore. <laughs> that doesn't look bad at all. See? Ooh, ooh. That looks good. <coughs> Let's do this. In the beginning, coordinating my movements was so hard, but eventually you got the hang of it. How do people- Ah, oh, I can see- Okay, okay, sick. Oh wait, I need to coat it from the bottom though. I think I might have just made a mistake by not coating the bottom first. Okay, should I just use my hands? Is it well saturated? <laughs> this is already so messy, oh god. Oh, I didn't even say it, but my hair is full virgin hair. I mean, I have dyed my hair before, but the hair that I- bleached previously has fully grown out okay so now i'm gonna try and fold it tediously because if you don't know which is gonna get uneven okay next section 
fuck. A huge chunk of bleach just fell down onto my floor. I'm not even going to move. I just already want to apologize for the mess that is about to be made with the bleach falling down the entirety of this video. Oof, I stepped on the bleach on the floor. Love that. At least there's just tiles and no carpet in my bathroom because... <gasps> mm -hmm. Amazing, amazing. Good job, Mitra. Can I stop? I keep dropping bleach, like just take less. But also I really want to coat everything. Okay, so basically what I did all throughout my hair is open up the braids, brush them, put the bleach on with my hands, try to saturate everything as well as I could. And when I put my hair onto the foil, I'd apply an extra layer of bleach so it would look like toothpaste. Yeah, I know, the bleach on my face stressed me out too. Is it already changing in color? Wait, can you see a difference here? Am I bugging? Oh my god, I keep walking around. Oh, I just said that I wasn't gonna walk around anymore. Why am I walking around? I'm gonna just check on this. <gasps> it's getting lighter. It's hot, it's hot. Should I blow dry onto my hair? No, let's do it like when, when I've done the root. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm back, sorry if the angle has changed a bit. I cleaned up a little bit. I put socks on, but I don't give a fuck about it. And I'm gonna go ahead with bleaching my roots now. It's been a while in the back, especially. Um, I'm gonna show you it. Um, can you see? Oh, I think I should go in with a brush on this, especially on up top where I need to like have a clean line. I didn't think about that. Okay, 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 let me don't have my glasses on so this is kind of hard right now where's my hand here better see i'm just trying to like go like this but in a way where i can actually see i'm still gonna skip this part for now because it's gonna process so fast you know holy shit that's really like oh something fell again god damn it does this happen in other people's videos because i haven't seen that happen at all everyone that didn't show that is a fake youtuber and i hate y'all i'm kidding i don't Oh my god! By the way, I just want to say how therapeutic this was for me. Like, I was having so much fun dyeing my hair. Maybe except for that part and the cleaning up. But other than that, it was great. This is what I'm looking like. I don't even know exactly how long this has been on my hair. Not long enough yet, though. That's, I know, very helpful. Okay, so let's see. No! <gasps> Did I miss a black spot? Yep. Any other spots? Oh, I see the banding already. Tell me what you think. How is it? This piece. Let's see how she's doing. I feel like that part could have used a little bit more bleach. It doesn't look awful, does it? I'm guessed. I'm kind of guessed. I'm not even gonna lie. Should I just be patient for a little bit more? No, my head's burning. No, I'm gonna wash it off. See you in a sec. I just got out of the shower. I'm fully brassy and orange, but my hair is clearly lighter. I don't know what the back looks like yet. I hope that I didn't miss any spots. I could be totally wrong, but when I skimmed through everything, I think I didn't see any spots that I missed. Things that went wrong. First of all, my roots here, I didn't coat them fully, so I will go up a bit more tomorrow. Second of all, I got hot roots a little bit especially here and i have a little bit of a darker patch right there that i need to fix tomorrow also my lengths are a little darker than the rest of my hair it doesn't feel really nice right now but also i only wash it out with water it doesn't feel worse than it usually does it just feels like i haven't conditioned it which i haven't i'm gonna put olive oil again because first of all it can just like get soaked in through the night and also i just want to moisturize my scalp a little bit because my skin is kind of sensitive i'm gonna show you what it looks like dry too because i know it's a little bit darker when it's wet i need to clean my bathroom i'm gonna show you what it looks like it's it looks like a bomb exploded in there and I need to clean that up because I have to like re-ruin the bathroom tomorrow and it can't be already re-ruined. Um... Oh... Yeah, let me just... I cleaned up. You know, the bathroom is ready to be used tomorrow again. I'm gonna say goodnight for now. See you tomorrow. Hey, good morning. I'm just quickly gonna change and let's go for the second round, shall we? So I mix the bleach, or I'm mixing the bleach right now. <coughs> and it looks happy and healthy. I know my hair looks scary right now. I think it's justifiable to say trust the process, but also I have no idea how well I'm gonna end up doing. So if the thumbnail of this video looked good, just trust the process. And if it didn't, just keep being entertained by my failure. 
the blow dry thing that I wanted to do yesterday that I didn't do, especially on the end so they can maybe process a little bit faster. But you know, same thing as yesterday, basically. As you can see in the following clip here, I had a lot of bending going on in the back of my head, so I tried to make sure that I would get up to the roots really well. And then regarding the blow drying thing that I was talking about, I basically just fold up my hair and evenly focus the heat of the dryer on the ends of my fold so that the hairs inside would process faster. Hi, so I just coated the entirety of my hair. As you can see, my hair looks light yeah. and also look a little fried. Put bleach on anyway. I've had it in folds till now, but like, I just, I can't be bothered to put them back in folds. I literally can. I'm gonna be washing it out in a little bit. It doesn't look super patchy as far as I can tell. I'm just leaving it as is for now letting it process for another maybe 15 minutes or something and then i'm gonna wash it out i think it's gonna be maybe like if i'm lucky a level eight let's not expect too much from my hair right now i know not to put my expectations up too high when i do like my own hair let's be real here underneath is also covered because i have a hairy neck and i don't want it to be like black when the rest of my hair underneath is blonde i can't stop putting it on like it's so satisfying to see it like thick thick and chunky i like them big <laughs> Also, my one toner is still not here, I forgot, so I might have to wait till tomorrow. Since my hair is not going to be in foils anymore, I am going to sit down in front of my... This. I don't know what it's called in English, but I'm just going to sit down in front of this. Hey, don't be scared. We have a little bit of a ramen noodle thing going on. I didn't like thoroughly go through it. I just am already seeing that I've let these hair is processed for too long so i have a little bit of a hot root situation still happening but i didn't expect it to get to this color even so i'm not mad clearly it really needs a tone my hair does feel dry I just put oil in it i haven't brushed it yet because when your hair is freshly bleached and when it's wet it's in its most fragile state so i don't want to put like any pressure onto it but no hair came out it just feels really dry I haven't shampooed it haven't conditioned it haven't done anything like that but i do feel a difference in terms of texture comparing it to the hair above i don't know if any hair broke off in the back either maybe it's like super short but it doesn't feel like that i hope that you could see the back somehow what i'm gonna do now is just let it air dry how fun so cute okay yeah i'm pretty happy Good morning, it's the morning of the day after and I thought I'd show you a quick clip of my hair when it's dry and not toned yet. Can you tell? We're back and we're ready to tone. I know I look crazy right now, but it actually has a reason. I just parted my hair in horizontal lines so that I can apply the toner really easily. I'm really scared of like fucking this up because I actually kind of did a decent job and i could be messing this up with this right now here are the pictures of the toners that i used i don't think that i did a good job mixing the two because it kind of came out splotchy but in the end i just coated my hair and let it sit i have now let it sit for quite some time it looks really dark and gray i'm gonna wash it out now and we'll see you right after it looks really dark i just got out of the shower i haven't seen my hair yet it looked really dark in the shower and i already found one streak that wasn't covered with toner i don't know i don't know man i don't know what to expect mm. oh my god whoa whoa that's gray why am i kind of vibing though i probably shouldn't have started on the bottom i should have started like on the pieces that are in front but that's just stupidity on my part maybe i'm gonna do like a purple shampoo on top to get rid of this oh that's patchy as hell ew ew look at that i'm gonna figure it out give me a sec all right so basically that was the last time that you saw me with my hair not done and this is what it looks like now <laughs> fucking love it i don't know how the fuck i, I okay <laughs> my plan wasn't even to go this gray don't worry about the curl pattern in the back as i said before i don't have a curl pattern here it was like this before but my hair is for sure damaged i fixed the weird splotchiness up top here and there i'm so happy i'm so happy with how look with this ring i love it i love it i love it here is what it looks like i'm expecting it to be quite uneven because this color should be different from this honestly i'm not mad i did it on my own at home insert cute hairstyles that i've done if i end up doing them if i'm not then never mind that oh my god the narcissism will win i look like a bad bitch and you can't kill me i'm a bad bitch you can't kill me i love it i love it i love it so much biggest
Oh, by the way, because some people have been asking about my hair routine, I have this mousse that I put in after I shower. It looks like this. <laughs> I also use this oil. I'm gonna link both of those products down below but then i just diffuse my hair and that's how i get my curly hair like really curly and when it comes to hair care i like to do an oil mask every month or so just so you know that too i hope you have a good day or night or evening or mid of the day whatever time it is for you and i will see you whenever i feel like seeing you again bye did that work